This is Twit. Let's turn to Siri. I think they're doing some server side stuff. Now, Siri is by far the world's most used digital assistant, with over 10 billion requests processed per month. And because Siri works across all your devices, it's always there to help you through your day getting things done. Now, we all know that Siri works with many third-party apps for things like messaging, ride-sharing, uh, and payments. But we wanted to make Siri able to do much more for you. And we're doing that by taking advantage of the power of apps with a new feature we call Shortcuts. Now, with Shortcuts, any app can expose quick actions to Siri. Let's look at some examples. Now, say you have the Tile app because you're always losing your keys. Well, the Tile app can expose the option to add a shortcut to Siri. You can assign your own phrase, such as, I lost my keys, would be a good choice. And when you then say it, Siri will automatically activate Tile and show you right in the Siri UI, start ringing your Tile just like that. So it's like if this then that. That's, that's fantastic. Yeah, Android does, is of course, there, there's so kept many saying would be doing something like this. You could this, say game time to get your team's schedule from progressive team loading of apps. Or help me relax to kick off a meditation. And of course, it all depends on developers incorporating these features into their apps. You know, with millions of apps, Shortcut enables incredible possibilities for how you use Siri. Now, as you know, this is a good way Siri to make Siri is more than just a voice. Siri's working, working all so the much. time in the background to make proactive suggestions for you even before you ask. Stuff they can't and do. now, with uh, shortcuts, Siri can do so much more. So for instance, let's say you order a coffee every morning at Phil's before you go to work. Well now, Siri can suggest right on your lock screen that you do that. You tap on it, and you can place the order right from there. So this or is the kind of thing people the gym, you use choose Aptiv Google to track workouts. being uh, that suggestion will appear creepy right on your lock doing. screen. You're at you're near Phil's. It's time for coffee. Search, Do you want one? You'll get great suggestions. Like say you're running late for or a do meeting. Do you want to share this photo? Well, Siri will yeah. suggest yeah. you text the meeting organizer. Or when you go to the movie, suggest that you turn get away on from, Do Not get away Disturb. From, uh, That's just being considerate. Being accused of being creepy. And remind you. I, I like these features. I find them very just useful. Just tap and it'll dial the call for you. Cortana now, does this too. We think we're all going to really enjoy using shortcuts. And so we went a step further. We wanted to let you create your own shortcuts as users by, of multiple steps across multiple Remember, applications. Remember, Applebot Workflow, and, and I bet you this is their with incorporation a new of Workflow. Shortcuts app. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is probably Workflow. So with the Shortcuts app, you could do something like create a, a shortcut for surf time. And it could go get you the surf report, great. look up the current weather, get you the ETA to the beach, and even create a reminder for you to put on sunscreen when you get there. Now, it's all done with simple drag and drop steps in the Shortcuts editor right here. It's really easy. Now, to show you how Shortcuts can streamline your day, I'd like to invite one of our leaders from our Siri Shortcuts project, Kim Beverett, to the stage to give you a live demo. Kim. Craig. This does look like fun. Like, I would like to This is This is a great feature. It well implemented. This I is, am so this is stoked killer. to show you Siri shortcuts. To do that, I'm going to walk you through my day. So imagine it's the morning. I'm headed to work. So developers will add these features to their apps. You'll be able to create your coffee. own routines. Siri has learned that I do this most mornings. So now I can just tap on the suggestion, and I see all the details I need to confirm my perfect mint mojito right here on the lock screen She's without even going into the app. In the morning. So let's get it's coffee. It's oh. <laughs> but, it, <laughs> but it's got mint in it. Sounds Fast forward a little bit. No rum, though. Sitting at my desk, at my office, you're drinking hazelnut. I can smell it from here. So. I'll go to the up next you might widget. Might like a mint mojito. And it looks oh, like I'm running a little With late rum. for a rather important <laughs> meeting. So I should probably let someone know. And it looks like shortcuts is a few steps ahead of me. I could call into the meeting, or I could historically let the these know that features. I'm late. I should probably look tell great. Ari what's People up. really get excited about it. That looks like but just what then I want to say. they don't do it because it's a lot of work to set this stuff up and. Only a certain, you know, I think small percentage Perfect. of geeks really spend the time to, to customize their phone. This is historically the so difference between Android and Kayak. iOS. Mm -hmm. I keep is that iOS, you didn't have so many customization Kayak. features, and Most people liked Android because they could WC customize it. This is an interesting Los Angeles. Uh, you can choice see for Apple. I've got my flight, my hotel, I like it, but I wonder how many details, people will use this. Everything I need, but what I really want is to be able it's to like use It's like 3D touch, or force touch. It's the Workflow app. It's a nicer interface so, than the Workflow app, but this is clearly Workflow. And I can just tap Add to Siri. Apple bought. 
record my custom phrase. Yeah, workflow is always just one too Travel many plans. things for me to do. Yes, yeah, it's, it's hard work. Um, and I'm done. I mean, so I like now, it. When I land at the airport, I just, and I'm about I think to get in the cab. Normal people really don't spend, don't want to spend time address, tweaking. I can just say. Things like this. Travel plans. But I'm glad My they put the feature in for those who do. Is at 929 South Broadway. You can check in after 3 p.m. Isn't that cool? It's pretty cool. I guess. So I would love to be on that vacation, but I should, I don't know, probably finish this demo. So let's Google's been trying to, to do this without your intervention, you which maybe is why it's considered vehicle. creepy. Mm -hmm. We start in the gallery where there's hundreds of pre-made shortcuts that you can download. Yeah, this looks, or we can looks a lot like if this then. And I've got a bunch of shortcuts here, but I want to wow. show you my it, heading It looks exactly shortcuts. like if this then. Yeah. That. You can see that it's just really a series of steps. It grabs my location and my travel time and it sends I see, I love this kind of stuff, roommate. but yeah. It this sets is... my home kit thermostat to 70 degrees and it turns on my fan. And last, it gets directions home with Apple Maps with the best route to avoid traffic. Now, this is already pretty cool. But I happen to be an NPR news junkie, so I should probably just add that to my shortcut to save me some trouble on the ride home. Let's tap search. And there's a bunch I can add here, but I can just tap series suggestions. And there it is, play KQED radio. I'll drag this in, drop it, and we're set. I've already added this shortcut to Siri with the custom phrase heading home. So now, whenever I leave work, I can just say heading home. You're watching you live there in one hour. coverage of Apple's WWDC Keynote 2018. Leo Laporte with Megan Maroney. Degrees, and I turned on the fan, playing KQED radio. Right? Are you going to do that? Um, I already tried to do that with the automation in the home app, and it has never worked. Like, I have it set to, un when I arrive home, unlock my door and turn on my lights. It's never worked. Yeah. <laughs> so if it works, yes. I will try it for sure. And that's Siri Shortcuts. It works on iPhone and iPad. And of course, you can run your shortcuts from your HomePod this is an iOS and your Apple Watch. 12 feature, that's your quick update on Siri.